Now, symmetry, everybody knows what symmetry is, right? The, the My favorite symmetric object is the Taj Mahal in India. Um, the first time I saw it was actually, I, I was quite old, even though I was grew up in uh, India. I didn't see it until after college. And it is one of the most beautiful buildings I have ever seen on planet Earth. And all of that has to do with symmetry. If you look at the Taj Mahal, right? It's an extremely symmetric building. And we kind of know what that means, right? We have this deep sort of intuitive sense that symmetry means balance, beauty, harmony. But what do we actually mean when we say symmetry? The idea is, and this is something that um, the great mathematician Hermann Weil came up with. The idea of symmetry from a mathematical sense is that a thing is symmetrical if there is something we can do to it so that after we have done it, it looks the same as it did before. I, this is a tongue twister. It is. <laughs> but here, here's what's happening. You've got a thing that is symmetric. Okay. What does that mean? That means I can do something to it. And when I'm done doing it, it looks just the same. The Taj Mahal. Here's an example, okay. right? The, imagine the Taj Mahal in your head. Yes. Flip it on the vertical, right? Yes. yes. So, so everything that's on the left goes to the right. So those spires on the left go to the spires on the right. The dome is exactly symmetric to the central axis. Mm -hmm. The two little domes on the side are symmetric. So they just flip around. So you can imagine if I were to take that photo of the Taj Mahal and then flip it, I would get the same exact Taj Mahal. Mm -hmm. That means that it's symmetric. Okay. Does that mean? Yes. Does that make sense? Yeah. Now, there's other kinds of symmetry, and, and we're used to it. Like, for example, there's shapes that we can do. A heart shape, you can reflect along the central line. The butterfly, you can reflect along the central line, and the, and the, the wings will go from one to the other. <laughs> A square, you can reflect along the central line on both axes, and also along the diagonals, and the square is going to come back to be the mm -hmm. same square. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's another way to do symmetry, not just with the reflections, you can also do rotations of objects. If you look at like the red cross, the cross of the red cross, yeah, yeah. or the thing that's in the middle of the Swiss flag, mm -hmm. right? You can rotate that cross 90 degrees, and it'll be the same cross, be symmetric. right? But if you take an arrow and you rotate it, it's going to point the other direction, right? You things, you can even think about a sphere, right? You can rotate, rotate a, sphere a sphere in any direction, and it's a continuous symmetry, because no matter how you rotate the sphere, it's still going to be a sphere and you can do similarly with a cube mm -hmm. but only not in any direction but in certain explicit yes degrees of rotation yeah and actually the five platonic solids that are our logo yes you can you can rotate them in three dimensions and you'll come back with the okay. same exact platonic solid yes right so we're used to objects being symmetric but 